Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day out in the woods today. Um, Arlo and I are uh, just enjoying the weather and I thought that I would take advantage of that and uh, make myself a pot of coffee and make a wild porcini mushroom omelet. Mm, I can't wait. <laughs> I love the way the percolator makes coffee. It's like that good old fashioned cup of coffee. So I know I always talk about uh, when I'm collecting mushrooms about, oh, this will be great on a steak, oh, this will be great in an omelet. Uh, well, I thought today I would do it, um, make that omelet. I mean, what's a more classical way to uh, cook a porcini and what better way to do it than as simply as possible. We're just going to do a little butter, eggs, the mushrooms, a little shallot, and salt and pepper. That's it, you know, and uh, it's just, uh, I love eggs and it just allows the, uh, the mushroom uh, flavor to shine through, so. I'm looking forward to that. Sometimes it's nice just to come out to the woods just to have a cup of coffee uh, for no other reason than that. Um, and the weather's so perfect. Uh, it's a, pretty much a uh, clear blue sky today. I don't see any clouds. Although this time of year, uh, we tend to have monsoons, uh, up here in northern Arizona anyway, um, have uh, monsoons build up every afternoon. You know, we see this, the clouds start to build up and then we have a little bit of... Uh, storm action in the afternoon and night um, and looking forward to that I'm sure we probably will have a little bit today um, it's been uh, raining a little bit every day so which definitely helps for our mushroom season we've had such a late uh, monsoon this year that usually the monsoon season starts uh, sometime in mid-june and goes through uh, mid-september uh, this year we didn't get any uh, significant rains until the middle of August so uh, the mushroom season which usually starts um, when the monsoons start, um, usually the mushroom season comes on strong sometime mid-July and then goes through mid-September. Uh, but this year, since it's so late, um, I'm hoping that since we started it in the middle of August, that hopefully we'll go through at least through the middle of October. And that would be great. Um, right now. I'm getting hungry. Let's make an omelet. All right, so I got some of my uh, items ready to go. I sliced up the uh, porcini. I have our shallots, uh, butter, our seasoning, and our eggs. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just get our eggs ready. Okay. Throw, uh, salt, pepper in there. Butter in our pan. Ooh, little pine needle. A little bit more of our salt and pepper. Um, at this point, I'm going to put our, our shallots in. Mm. 
We just need to cook those shallots just a little bit. Let them uh, soften up a little. Oh, look at that. Oh. Perfect. Okay. We're going to add our eggs. Put all that in there. There it is, our uh, porch the omelet, um, with a little flour, and let's eat this sucker. Mmm, I can't wait to dig into this. Um, what I made, uh, what you'd call a country omelet, where I uh, uh, brown the butter and I also uh, brown the eggs just a little bit, um, so it's a little bit more rustic. Uh, also, um, I left the uh, center um, really moist because that's the way I like it. I like my eggs uh, uh, really wet, but uh, let's see. Let's get into this. Mm. Really good. Doesn't get any better than that. Look at that. Porcini right out of the forest. Ah. Oh. So it has that full on fresh uh, porcini flavor, which is awesome. All that butter. Um, and I love eggs. Oh man. You probably see me cook eggs on this uh, channel all the time because, uh, for one thing, they're convenient when you're out camping or you're out in the woods. Um, but also, <laughs> Man, can you beat um, can you beat a fried egg and bacon or or an omelet? Mm, so good. Fresh porcini omelet and some percolator coffee out in the woods. Mm. That's a tasty little treat. The added bonus is I have uh, pine needles and sap falling down on me while I'm eating here. <clears throat> I mean, look at that fresh porcini mushrooms right out of the ground mm. and the texture of those mushrooms are so nice when you they're soft and oh well thank you for coming to breakfast with me today and uh, if you like this video please like it uh, please subscribe uh, that'll always help us a lot uh, leave a comment in the comment section, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Mm. <laughs>